Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Before we go into this, I'm gonna get the loading screen up first. Before we're gonna apologize, I haven't been doing any videos other than a few here and there for like the last three weeks. Um, I've been sick on and off. My doctor had put me on some new medication that was essentially making it so I could not sleep properly. That I'd wake up like as a side effect from it like every four hours during the night four to two to three hours would just depend and and i was just bone tired sick I ended up having to just stop the medicine completely and i feel so much better for it i'm still not a hundred percent um but that's more majority to do with my allergies now than the, what I was dealing with with the medication and but that's only because it's like Everything's starting to bloom now. I'm going to be having problems with my life for a while. Now, on top of that, I had so much schoolwork and I felt horrible. I had physical projects, 3D projects for my class, my um, computer arts class I had to do stuff for, my English class, my online class. It was just a lot of work and I didn't just have any time in between me like feeling so bad and be able to do all this. So today is the beginning of spring break. I have no homework at all for my online class either. I don't have any work this week until like the end of the week and then I'm going to take a test and that's it. So I should have enough time to do videos this week. So let's get in. Last time we asked Sebastian to marry us. Oops. Hello! Did they actually do it? Oh, they're harvesting my stuff. Do they take the stuff to the. Yeah, they take it here. No water. What you doing? Alright, stuff currently isn't grown. They should take care of it. I don't know, are they fertilizing it? I'm not entirely sure. But I have my little friends back, so I'm happy. There's the other one. Now, the last few things that we need to do is we need to marry Sebastian. I want to see how that turns out. We should marry him during this episode. And we still need to get to the 100th level of the dungeon. And I still can't figure out how to do it. recipes that call for a lot of slime. Hmm. I also want to see if there's anything else I want to make on here real quick. Loom. Oop, went down too far. I don't think I've made a warm bed. Huh. That might be worth something to work towards. Slime incubator, slime egg press. I think I have that. 
I don't know how to make different diamonds. I think it just makes the green ones. Go in here real quick. The sound, the sound of flies drives me freaking crazy. Okay, um, stuff that's been happening since my videos, uh, I'll tell you about my foundation class. Um, the first project we did was wire, and I made a baby elephant that looks like it's a stuffed animal out of wire. It is so cute, and I absolutely love it. It's sitting in my dashboard of my car. Um, our second project, I didn't like as much. Majority due to the fact that I had such a hard time assembling every the pieces together. Um, what we did is this, we had to use something called foam core. And essentially it's like white cardboard, but with like, um... You know the stuff from uh, the peanuts that you can get like at uh, packages? It's like in between car two pieces of like more like actually um, the uh, the boards that you get for uh, class projects. It's like in between uh, two pieces of that with the peanut stuff in the middle and it's really thick and very hard to cut into. You need box cutters. Special not uh, there's also some special knives you can get. Um, very aggravating. I made a maze that was actually multi-layered. I didn't like it that much. I just didn't like how it came out. And we did our last project was carving soap, and I made a water lily that looked more like a rose than a water lily. But the problem is, with that, is I am mildly, mildly allergic to, um, bar soap. So, I didn't say anything to my teacher, because it doesn't really bother me too much. Unless, um, I have contacted, contact with it for a while. So I just didn't say anything, and she got upset with me when she found out. <laughs> And that was that class. My, um, computer art class, we, uh, gosh. first project was just to do four little pictures. Uh, and I did all four of my pictures. At first, they were just flowers because I was playing around with it. And, but then I came back after I started playing with it for a bit. And I turned all my four pictures into Undertale characters. I did Absabook, um, Metaton, Sands, and Flowey. I think it came out, out alright for my first time drawing them. Because I've sort of doodled Flowey before, but I've never actually drawn him like that, and I gave him a little too many petals. I realized that afterwards. Otherwise, my favorite one that came out was Navsmoot. And I know I'm probably not saying his name right. I apologize for that. <sighs> it hit me. 
was um next project was to do like something we call the divi diversity diversity contest that they have every year at my school and this year's was theme was bias and what I essentially do did we had to do for we had to base it off that for our second project the bias that they had up so mine was essentially very dark a little bit because it was very like based on the cruelty that females have to go through to do uh, look nice that's what I had done mine on and it actually came out really nice I liked it I actually put it into the contest I'm more than likely not gonna win because the way we did that is that we were just cropping stuff like how you used to like in elementary school they would have the project where they would have you do the magazines get things from magazines and post it everywhere um, it was like that it was a lot of fun uh, our latest project was we are making our own currency I finished it but it's still ongoing right now before break, spring break so I didn't have to worry about it um, what I did was essentially make Minecraft money with my Minecraft character on one side uh, a diamond sword and pickaxe on the same side and then like on the back side of it there was a creeper with a bomb and to just trigger people I did it because of that I put a diamond home with him too <laughs> it was fun. I like that it was fun um that's that. And English class is English class. I don't really need to go into that. Uh, my online class, A. Very good idea that I am not going to pass it. I think next semester, if I don't pass it and I have to take it again, I will uh, take the class at school instead of online. <laughs> because it was very boring just to read about all this stuff instead of like sitting down in class and ta talking about it. And a lot of it, it was just like stuff that I already knew about and it was like, uh... Turn around on the one time I didn't want her to. And also this weekend is my sister's birthday. So we're going to go to like this rodeo and a meal thing. I have no clue. Um, all I know is it's like a horse show and then you have a meal there. And it's supposed to be this weekend. I can't remember there was a way down. I'm back here I believe. Yep. Oh, I also may have broken my bumper on my car at some point the last month, and I forgot to tell you guys. I let me explain. Um, 
there's these posts. They sort of look like log, uh, square logs that are sitting like around the um, the parking spaces on the side that like keeps a bunch of dirt up. And one of them fell down, and I forgot that it was there. So when I went to park my car. And then I coming home from my foundations class. I may have hit it and broke my bumper. I was so frustrated and upset I refused to eat dinner. Um and went and got like junk food <laughs> from McDonald's. Because I had just been exhausted. It was still when I was feeling really sick. So I was just fed up with everything by that point. I went, I'm going to go get freaking McDonald's. <laughs> to be a full time student may not seem like a lot, but it is. It can be mentally and physically exhausting depending on what sort of classes you have. My first um, semester I had two English classes and two math classes. It was very exhausting because if you had been on my channel for a while you know that I hadn't been around a lot of people due to the fact that I had been like a living nanny essentially for my sister for a few years. So it was like really tiring because I'm one of those people that I spend a lot of time around, time around people, it's going to wear me out. And then there was um, second semester, which I absolutely loved. Oh god, I didn't realize it was getting so late. Which was my drawing class. And my drawing class was three hours long. And to say I was exhausted majority of the time by the time we had in the class ended was a bit of an understatement. earlier. I think I'm getting married tomorrow. I also had speech class which, which was very um I'm not a big talker for actually real people so it was stressful. I tried my best though. And I what other class did I had that semester? can't remember. Oh, my psychology class, which was chaos. I'm surprised I passed the class with a B. Because nobody felt like they had learned anything during that class. Um. Alright. Sleep. Millionaire. What did I do? How did I get that achievement? I'm confused. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, maybe it's the next day that I get married. Take this so I don't have to come out of the little hole. Nope, no, I'm telling you the hot pepper. Uh, I 
talking about, uh, yes, uh, my classes. Um, told you about this semester. Oh god. I forgot, thought for a second I forgot to put the, um, uh, ring on. I need to get some more water. Here, my sister's back with the kids. Are the dogs freaking out? Just a little for like a couple minutes, sorry. Next semester, I'm not going to be as happy with my classes because even though I fail art history next week again, I still have no like actual real art classes next semester. I'm aggravated by it because of it. Um, because I've loved taking the art classes. It's fun. It's fun to do projects like that with people. I know why I wanted to go in there. We need to go here. <coughs> Excuse me. the big white egg that I got it didn't hatch into anything other than a normal chicken Pretty sure today is not the day um, to um, get married. It's probably tomorrow. Let's go to the quarry and clean that up a little bit. It's always better to clean up because. It has more chance of spawning in stuff that we need. That is a good source of books. Oops. Break this? No. Whoa, it was loud. My sister got um, a Nintendo Switch for my niece and nephew. I'm gonna play it later. Uh, sadly, I don't think we are able to record on it. I think you need special thing, special equipment to do that. So I can't show you any of my games on there, and I'm it aggravated because I would love to show you my playthrough of like uh, Luigi's Mansion when it comes out because I love Luigi's Mansion. I played both the first one and the second one.
That was a lot of people in one section. A lot of bats. mushrooms in this little star area. Need to find the way down now. Come on, I cleared a whole little section. Where is the way down? I feel like I already found it. Might not have two videos out today. Yeah, stupid crab. I'm just gonna check down real quick. I right hear. No, oh, I'm just gonna head back up. Uh, sell what I have, and then head to the next day. I know it's a bit early. I just I want to see the marriage scene. Oh, honey. Okay. Uh. Alright, let's go throw the stuff away real quick.
There you go. When Martin first arrived in Hellican Town, no one knew if she'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Marnie was going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. It's my great honor on this day, 26th of summer, to unite Marnie and Sebastian in the lands of marriage. Well, let's get right to it. Marnie and Sebastian. As the mayor of Hechlin Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you wife and husband. Magus. Oh. Oh my gosh. Dancing. <laughs> Life is going to be different from now on, but the future looks bright. Okay, this is safe. Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. It's just from Linus. Okay. Sebastian's area. Where is he? Is he somewhere else in the house? I'm going to take a walk today. I need some time to myself. I'll see you in the evening. Okay, I can click on him to kiss him. And... I'm just going to leave this stuff alone for now. I am going to end off here today because that was nice and everything. In the next episode, we'll look into more like stuff that Sebastian does. I'm going to sleep because that's the only way to save. With that, guys, please like if you like to comment if you wish. And some more. I'm out, people. Bye.